Who was on the service song, but what a friend we have in Jesus. Page 341. Was told I waste not service out with a phrase. One, two, three, praise the Lord.
always there. Whether it be daytime or nighttime, he's always there for his children. You know why I know he's there? Because he said in his word, I'll never leave thee. I'll never forsake. Amen. Amen. And I thank God. That's the Lord I'm supposed to be here tonight. Yes, the one that saved me, the one that keep me, and the one that's going to take me in. Amen. And uh, so we didn't have good to be back in the house of God tonight. Uh, good to see each one out. And, you know, it's, it's good to come to church on Wednesday night and uh, worship the Lord. And uh, so we want to pray tonight that God will bless every heart that's come this away. And uh, that you can leave saying it's been good being in the house of the Lord. Yes, so we're we'll going to go to the Lord in prayer and trust God that God will answer our prayers. And prayers asking, believing, and receiving. All by faith. Yes, Amen. Amen. So if you've got a prayer request at this time, you want to go ahead and make it, you go ahead. Sister Susie. You remember my family and my friend that's lost. Okay, let's remember uh, this request. You remember my sister's too in prayer. Bobby, I pray for um, some people I work with. We've got several that are really sick. We have one guy that just found out he's got pancreatic <coughs> cancer. We've got one of our girls that works on our child care hall. She found out this week that her 13-year-old has cancer. And then my supervisor's mother has found out this week she's got breast cancer. And then y'all pray for mama. And just, let's just remember all the sick. Amen. Uh, yeah, uh, I talked to Wanda, Darlene's daughter. She said, "Ask for prayers for Jeff that uh, they had stopped to eat, and he started coughing real bad until he started coughing up blood. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not here tonight." But she said, "Ask for prayer request for them." Special request God knows all about. My mom and my mom's come through a uh, procedure pretty good um, on Monday. Yeah, I took care of her, and I know he's going to continue to take care of her. Just remember, she's got still a long road to go, and she might have quite a bit of rehab. I know God's going to take care of her. Remember, Sister Judy, I pray. And all of our family, we got several yes. in our family. We pray. We've got to keep set on all of our families. And, uh, we've got some that's uh, out of God's will. And we just, just need to get back in the world of God. Just pray God will touch them. Especially you. Amen. You know, I prayed to God one time, and my brother was lost. And I said, God, whatever it takes to bring me in. And I have got home and did it on my phone. Uh, and it was my first question. Says Bobby, Tommy, and my brother was in a bad accident. He said they're not expecting Tommy to live. He says, Y'all might want to get in and come on in. And so, anyhow, I went in there and we got on our knees and went to pray. And I asked God, and he says, God spared his life. I thought God is still living, and saved, and he's lost a leg, but thank God he's saved. Yes, that's the matter. And his family is in church down there in Quitman.
Brother Harold, his wife. Their brothers, many of them out there. Maybe the Lord's just not here tonight. Uh, you know, for what reason they understand. And I pray that God will be with them and bring them back to the next appointed time. All right? If nothing else, let's all bow our head and go to the Lord in prayer. Brother Dean, lead us as you pray today. Heavenly Father, God, we come in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come to the name of Jesus. God, that you would bless us and ask for our prayers. Father, we pray special on God. We pray for the name of 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 God. God, we pray for Brother John and his family. God, we just pray for so many. I pray for Brother David and Sister Susan and their family. God, I pray that you call them Gene. God, we just could go down the line and call them all of them. But God, you know who they are, Father. And I pray that you just keep your hand upon every one, Father. God, bless our nation, our leaders, our missionaries. Bless the peace of Israel, Father. Bless our song service here tonight, Father. Bless Brother Larry and his revival of our God. God, I pray that you give them many souls for the labor. And God, I pray that you revive the church, Father. Revive your people, Father, in these last days, Father. And God, I pray that you just be with Brother Ralph over there, Father. God, watch over him, Father. And God, I pray for our president. Pray for the peace of Israel in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's all stand and let's take the ball. Always talk about the Bible. I don't think we're going to say no thing for all this wonderful praise to know to, to his name, number one, because I know without him, none of us will be here. And uh, I do want to also thank him for, you know, blessing my mom and, and the doctors to take care of her and all the nurses up there. The staff has really been great my mom and they're, they're a really good bunch of folks up there. So y'all just remember her and she'll continue getting better. And also remember my daddy, you know, um, I know with them being married 61 years and now they're 20 some miles apart, it's sort of hard on him too. So y'all just remember him and you pray as well. And remember me and my family.
if they got to cut parts off of in here, it's okay. But when I get to I won't be home. And I just want to thank God for saving me. And this song is is the is Calvary's the reason why, you know, it's it's my song, it's my testimony song. This is by far my favorite song of all time. And uh, I just want to thank God for giving it to me. I've been singing it for a long time. Amen. And every time I sing it, you know, I think of my mom yes, and my God. dad. And Hallelujah. Of Davis, you know, uh, Junior was singing it right, right here where Dean stood. Junior was singing this song with me. And, you know, and it was such a blessing because Junior had never done nothing like that, you know. <coughs> but yeah, it's, it's just as much of a blessing to sing it with Johnny and Dean, you know. Yes, I knew about it. God bless them, Jesus. We come down here, we practice it. It's like coming to church. You know, the spirit that we have within ourselves, because we don't get mad if we don't like a song. We, we don't like it, we don't do it. And, you know, and if we can't do it, we don't let the devil win. We continue on until we can do it. You know? That's right. And uh, even if it sounds bad, we're going to sing it. So yeah, we don't care. But, uh, I just thank God for saving me. I was coming to church tonight. God bless him. Every mile I drove, Satan was telling me to turn around. Because I've been feeling bad today, you know. Bless him, Lord. I said, I ain't turning around. You know, two years ago, I would have turned out when he got in the car. You know. I just thank God for the ball. Thank you, God, God, Jesus. Y'all pray for me. You know, pray for my feet. Bless him, Lord. I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing for God, you know. It's a lot of work coming down here mowing and weeding, but I don't want to stop that because I love doing it. It's something that God gave me to do. I've been doing it for a long time. Amen. God and bless you. Know, I may not be the best at it, but I don't want to stop doing it. You know, I really Amen. don't. But y'all just pray, bro. I don't want to stop driving that bay in here. You know, I love people. You know, God bless you, Jesus. Jesus. We had to cancel yesterday just, just for circumstances, but all those kids called my house. <laughs> And I have most of them at my house, you know, at least the ones that from from my from that, that I bring and and uh God we said how many people heard the other side when you're on you know. I said we 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 can't have church tonight because of things that happen, but you know we're gonna have it we're gonna have it on the nineteenth. I said it's gonna be a double bliss. So y'all just pray for them, you know. I love those kids. Y'all pray for them. Amen.
This is an idol worship. Let him have his way. And I said, Lord, if it's your will, you, you start it. The Lord started it, and I'm going to sit here and behave myself. Stay out of God's way. Amen. Praise God, let it go. I tell you, the devil don't like this. This makes the devil mad. Especially when people come to church and want to test with their will done instead of God's will done. Amen. Amen. Let him have his way tonight, praise God. We give him praise and glory. Hey, God deserves the praise. He deserves the honor. He deserves all the glory. Because without him, we wouldn't be nothing to nobody. That's right. But through him, we have the praise. Amen. God, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Glory to 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 God.
mind God. I know how God's moving. I see what God's doing. Yes, sir. So you want to give God the glory and praise him, let him have his way. I'll tell you right now. Yes, it may be your testimony. It may be what God used you to say. It could encourage somebody. Or encourage yourself. Yes. What is God in these trials and days we have right now? You mind the Lord tonight. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you can praise and give him glory. Thank you, Lord. Don't Thank let the devil cheat you. You sit here tonight and you want to brag on Jesus, you brag on him. Like every time somebody testifies for the Lord, it brags the devil's eye. Well, I always say that thank God for saving me, and I know I've already, I probably pretty much testified already. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You that just find the Lord. So good. Yeah. Yes, man. Praise the Lord. Go. He's working it all out. He's working it. He's just working it. Amen. I know I'm going in the right direction because he's working in my life. I see yeah. him. I see him. Yes. Working. Don't let Thank nothing you. deter you and nothing distract you from God. I don't care who it is. I just is. want to grow faster and harder for him. That's all I want. I want him to be glorified to the life that I live. Oh, it's because it is all about him. It's all about him. But I know I just I just want to be what he wants me to be, what he'd have me to be. I want my Amen. Lord to shine so me. others can see his goodness yes. and souls will be saved. You know that's what it's all about. Yes. I just want to take care of the souls that's been one year shady good lately. Sidetrack you and get you away from the things of God. That goes for anybody else in this church. Right. Right. Don't let the devil disturb, disturb you. Don't let the devil distract you. And when somebody starts trying to put their mouth on the church or put their mouth on the members of this church, stop them. Amen. Stop them dead in your tracks. I tell you, you do it with love. Do it with love. When somebody starts running your brothers and sisters down, stop them. Don't let it happen. I've done made. I've been made preacher pudding and preacher stew and fried chicken so much it don't bother me no more. I'm gonna, I'm, because more somebody talks about me and says something about me, the, the stronger I want to go for Jesus. Praise God. I don't find no dis oh, devil. You that get this fear of discouragement. No. Yes. I always said Shady Grove is a different church. Amen. Amen. No other church in the world like Shady Grove. Right here in Glen Oak. Amen. I thank God for our church. Amen. And I'm going to mind God. I'm going to stand on this book. And I'm going to preach this book. By the grace of God. I'm going to obey the leadership of God. If, it, if a devil likes it, don't like it. 
Amen. I know the leadership of God, and I know the author of this book. My Bible says over here in, in Psalms 145, verses 1, the psalmist said, I will exalt thee, my God. I will exalt thee, my God. That's right. Brother, if you say it here tonight, it's in your soul, it's in your heart, it's in your spirit to exalt the Lord. Yeah. That's just a normal thing for a child of God. But brother, if you say, well, I don't believe in that, then bless God, I, I guess you don't believe in nothing the Bible says. Well, that's too emotional. I don't believe in that emotion. No, but bless God, you can get out away from the church. Bless God, you can get emotion run your mouth. I will exalt thee, oh my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. I will bless thy name forever and ever. That's what God wants us to do. Don't ever be ashamed of it. Don't ever let the devil shame you out of testifying for the Lord. No, God said, don't be ashamed of the Lord. He said, if you'll be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. And I don't want God ashamed of me. I'm not ashamed of his son. And I'm not going to, uh, people don't like it, they just have to love it. I love my Lord, I love my church, I love my family. And I love my church family. Yes, Thank God. Thank God for everybody. You know what? God's good to me. Most of all, he saved my soul. And if you can't be, let me tell you something. If you tell me you're saved in this church tonight, and I'm not saying every time you serve like you have you were telling me No, I'm saying, bless God, if you can't once in a while, stand up and thank God for saving your soul. I doubt very seriously you know what salvation is all about. Bless the Lord. And I'm being planted here tonight because God said, let the redeemed say so. Amen. Brother, if you're saved by the grace of God, God lays on your heart tonight. Don't you never be ashamed of all this. Bless the Lord. Well, of my salvation is personal. Y'all know what it is. God said to work out your own salvation with fear and tremor. But also, I ain't ashamed of who lives in my heart. I ain't ashamed to brag on him. I ain't ashamed to glorify him. I ain't ashamed to pray, bless God. That's right. I go in public, me and my wife will join hands and we'll pray. I ain't trying to be religious. I'm not trying to be a, a big a holy a holy roller or whatever they want to call it. I'm just saved and I ain't ashamed to ask God blessing on my food. Amen. 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 could not have no food. Amen. Thank God we can pray over our food, brother. Sure enough. Up town, it's a house. Giving God the glory. I can tell you one thing, hon. The can of fento beans tastes mighty good with the blessing of God on it. Amen. Praise God, amen. amen. Anything you eat with the blessings of God on it, it's good. Praise God. Yes, Lord. The Bible says right here, I will exalt thee, O my God, O King. I will bless thy name forever and ever. Down here in 8 verse, it says, And the Lord is gracious. And full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. Great mercy. What a God we serve. Great mercy. Great mercy and great love. Great grace. You know what God's grace is? God's a favor handed it down to hell, deserving the center right, Bobby Black. If had not been for the grace of God, I could have been in hell and stood in his church today. By the grace of God, you could have too. But I thank God for saving grace. I thank God yes. for his keeping grace. I thank God for his dying grace. Hallelujah. Honey, God's grace is sufficient glory to God. Sure and you some things and some part of grace, you ain't going to get till it comes that time. But when it comes that time, God will slip the grace right on there. Praise God, we get on that grace train and bye-bye world. Good, night, good, good, good morning, old young, for eternity. Praise God. Let everything that have breath. Ain't God good to us? Yes, he is. Amen. I'll tell you right now. I told Brother Johnny on the phone just a few days ago. And uh, when they told him, the doctor told him, said, Well, says, uh, we, can't, we can't do surgery on your mom's heart. She says, She's not a candidate. They knew right then, if they had a tried, 
They know 90% of the time she probably wouldn't approve it. I've heard those words come out of Dr. Knight's mouth. We operate on him, so we might as well to take a gun and shoot him because he's not going to make it. Went on and the man got saved and lived eight months before God called him home. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Prayed for him 18 years. Amen. 18 years, you hear me? And thank God he got saved and beat us all over. Amen. Boy, ain't God good. And you know God said the men of God's honor of all those except his own household? Do you know what? The devil tried to tell me, he says, you anybody that went that man of God, but not you. Why? Because he seen my faults and failures, bless God. He seen I was a human being. Let me tell you something. You may be a church member, you may be a teacher, you may be a preacher, but you are a human being. Amen. We are human beings. We are the abnatic fleshly nature. We're not perfect. God says there's not one perfect. No, not one. But I thank God tonight that God permitted me and Brother Steve Smith to win that man to go. 80-something years old. And you know what the chances of somebody getting saved at 80 years old? One out of every 10,000. But God's grace stepped in. You know why? Because somebody was praying. Somebody was trusting. Somebody kept agonizing with God. Don't let my daddy go to hell. Don't let my daddy go to hell. Please save my daddy. Thank God God saved me. Amen. Amen. God saved me. Ain't you glad God saved me? Yes. yes. Praise God. Amen. I'm glad God saved me. I'm glad he answered the prayer. Yeah. Go ahead, Brother Warren. Somebody will stand by and come back. Thank Lord for saving me. Amen. Yes, Daddy, and I was talking to him, man. He asked Mr. Bill Arnold, do you believe in eternal salvation? Amen. I looked at him, I said, well, sir, first of all, if you've been born again by the Spirit of God, he has you have eternal salvation. The Lord, he plucked himself out. I said, well, son, let me ask you a question. Can your, can your earthly son pluck himself out of your family? I said, no, because of the blood. I said, no, we, are, we are a child of God because of his blood. That's all right. We're going to heaven because of the blood. Amen. Yeah. And I thank God not for Bobby for the person word of God. Yes. yes. The great traitors yes, in the word of God. Yes. No matter what, no matter what storm we face in this walk of life, I thank Lord for God's eternal joy. And I thank Lord for the desire that we had to go out with people, you know, and different places, you know. And thank Lord uh, for the many friends that we made down through the years. And I thank Lord for men like Brother Jack and uh, Brother Johnny, Brother Dean, and different ones in this church, Brother Charlie, Brother Gary, Brother, yes. uh, Brother, uh, uh, yes. Brother Robert. I thank Lord for those men. They're real. And I thank God, Brother, brother Bobby, uh, uh, for this church. Yes. I thank Lord that I'm to come to this church. Yes, amen. Love my desire, church. my desire is to be at the house of God. Yes. And I thank Lord for that church and uh, yes. how God given this church. Yes. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I thank God for it too. Amen. I thank God for our church. The love and the spirit that flows in this church. Amen. God is good to us. <coughs> All right. I thank God for our service tonight. If all hearts is clear, if your heart is clear, we'll stand up and be dismissed. I'm not going to dismiss it for a prayer. I'm going to just say, let's come on his to Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>